Now we will talk about the product rule and I will tell you what the product rule is and I'll show you a proof of it and we'll work through several examples. The product rule allows us to take the derivative of a product of two functions. So if we have something like this, y equals x cubed times the sine of x. Here y is a function of x, but this particular function of x can clearly be thought of as two separate functions multiplied together. x cubed could be a function in its own right, and so could sine of x. And right here they're multiplied together. So our function that we're trying to take the derivative of is a product of two functions. So the general form would be this f of x is g of x times h of x. So you have one function that is the product of another two, of, of two others. But a lot of times we see a much more compact notation. We'll just say y is equal to u times v. So y is our function and it's a product of these two other functions. And even though we're not writing the, the variable here, the, the independent variable, u and v are both understood to be functions of x or functions of the same variable that y is a function of, usually x. So, and these are both, u and v are both differentiable functions, functions that we can take the derivative of. Okay, before I show you the product rule, let me show you what you cannot do. Okay, if you have this function, y equals x cubed times the sine of x, you can't say, oh, well, y primed is going to be the derivative of x cubed times the derivative of the sine of x. That is wrong. The correct approach is this. If f of x is g of x times h of x, then f prime of x is g of x times h prime of x plus h of x times g prime of x. In other words, it's g times the derivative of h plus h times the derivative of g. And I'll prove that to you in just a second, but first just to start learning this. In the more compact notation y equals uv, we could say y primed is equal to uv primed plus v u primed. So u times the derivative of v plus v times the derivative of u. And this is most commonly remembered as a procedure. You could memorize this formula or this one, but think of it as a procedure. This tells you what to do to find the derivative of y. You take function u and you multiply it by the derivative of v and you take function v and multiply it by the derivative of u and then add the two together. And so it's often thought of as as this. The first times the derivative of the second and by the first we mean the first function u and then the derivative of the second that's the second function v in this case. The first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. And that's a good statement to memorize. And in fact, you'll memorize it just by using this procedure numerous times as we, as we work through the examples. But when I do the derivative of a product, this is actually what I'm saying in my mind as I do it. I see a product here, and I need to take the derivative, and I think to myself, the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. And with that in mind, let's go ahead and work this example here. Y is x cubed times the sine of x. Well, y primed, the derivative, will be the first of these functions. That's x cubed times the derivative of the second. And the derivative of sine x is cosine x. So that's the first times the derivative of the second plus the second, that's sine of x, times the derivative of the first. And the derivative of x cubed is 
3x squared. So y primed is x cubed cosine x plus sine x times 3x squared. And next I'll show you a proof of the product rule.